Hey guys, this is Leon, the Nomad Detailer, and uh, we talked about it on the other video when we were doing the um, electric slide adjustments, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the hydraulic adjustment today on a DRV Mobile Suites um, Nashville um, 2018. And if you look at this slide here, um, you can see how it's kind of sucked in at the top. It's really compressing on that seal, um, just flattened it out. Um, it's really, really, Anita, come over this way. I actually have someone use, holding the phone today. Look how wide the gap is right here. Okay, and if you come over here on this side. Now over here on this side, look how narrow this gap is here. Okay, as it goes up, watch what happens. It's getting closer, 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 closer and to the point where it's binding up right there at the top. It's actually pushing back. So what we're gonna do first off is, a lot of times these hydraulic slides are not adjusted properly where um, the slide pulls in too far, which that's not really so much of a problem. Uh, cosmetically, it drives me crazy, um, but you're not gonna get water in. The other issue is people's slides are not set properly to come all the way out. So then they're not actually pushing up against the seal and they get water leaks if it's not adjusted properly. Um, and uh, plus you're gonna have air gaps and insects and everything else can come through. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go and I'm gonna have Anita give me the phone and I'm gonna have her go in and bump this slide out about a foot and a half or so. So, what we're going to do, though, is uh, definitely, definitely need to take care of that problem right there. And uh, she's going home tomorrow. No, yeah, tomorrow. She's going home tomorrow. And um, this was my quarantine RV. And worked on it while we've been quarantined here at Mother's. Okay, so if you heard that pop, that was it unsticking up there. And look right there what it's done to the bulb seal. It's totally worn it out. It's compressed flat as all get out. Um, it really needs, it really it needs new bulb seal um, replaced soon. And I'll let the owner know that as well. But uh, all right, so I'm gonna hand the phone back over to Anita. Zoom back out. Nice reflection. And of course, that's the simple reflection, the final, after uh, cut and buff and everything, swirl marks and all that good stuff. So, all right, so I need to come over here on this side and try and, I'm gonna try and get down here. I'm very sore, I'm tired, and it's hot. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is your jam nut. You got on your piston here, You've got an adjustment here, and then you have an adjustment here. So, we're going to back this jam nut off. Oh, that's right out. I can't find my wrench for that, so. This is your outstroke. What you want to do is back that jam nut completely back off. And this has got a lot of dirt and everything on it, so we'll get that all cleaned up and greased up before we set everything back. Alright, so I got the jam nut backed off. Now I'm going to actually back the nut off. And again, this right here, that piston is moving this direction pushing the slide out so what we're going to do is we're going to back this off to make sure that we get the full reach the full extension out and then we'll reset this
Anita, hand me the phone. Okay, babe, if you'll go inside, and if you'll go ahead and push that slide all the way out. All right, we're going to watch it. So what you're going to see is they're going to see the piston push out. All right, I hear her inside. Okay, so we're fully extended. You can see it moved basically the bracket from there back. And Anita, bring it in just a hair. Right there, stop. Put it back out. I want to show you guys all the way. You see how that piston's going back and forth? Okay, now pull it in. Stop. All right, so you can see how it's moving back and forth. So what I'm gonna do right quick, I'm gonna have to put this down, let me pause it. I'm gonna go ahead and try and back this off the rest of the way, clean these threads up a little bit, get this off and make sure that we're fully extended, okay, all the way out before we go any further. Be right back. Okay, go ahead and put the slide out. Okay, so now you can see the slide is all the way out. The piston is now all the way out, and now I have a gap here. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to tighten this nut back up to here, and I'm not going to do the jam nut yet until we adjust the end position, which is going to be this nut. So stand by, be right back. Okay, so I've got this nut here now just hand tight up against the plate. You don't want to get the wrench, wrench on this and start going at it because what you're going to start doing is pulling the slide back in. Okay, so that's adjusted. I'm going to have Anita pull it in now and we're going to, oh, wait, before we do that, we're going to take this nut now and we're going to back this nut up as well. And I'm going to back this one up all the way out and let me work on that real quick. Let's see. I'm terrible at this. And let me pause this because I'm probably making you guys sick. All that shaking. Hold on. Okay, guys. So I've got the nut back all the way off now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Anita pull the slide in here in just a second. And... What I'm going to watch for, let me get up here, is I'm going to watch for this plate to hit the bulb seal, top and bottom. And what I wanted to do is just make enough contact and compression so that way it makes a tight seal without flattening it completely out and, and distorting it and ripping it all up. If you're getting all that tearing and stuff up there, it's because it's been rubbing and it's not adjusted properly. But um, it's a it's a pretty easy replacement to, to change out the bulb seal. Not not that big of a deal. And then you can see that beautiful Excel that's been put on here last week. So looks good. Looks good. All right, um, Anita, go ahead and bring the slide in, and I'll tell you when to stop. Right there. All right, come out just a hair. Okay, in slowly. In slowly. In, in a little more. Right there, stop. Okay, bump it in. Right there, stop. All right, so I'm way off still at the top, and we make some adjustments here in a minute on that. But right here, I can go in just a little more right here. Maybe let's look at down here. Can look good there too. All right, 
So I'm going to go ahead and lock that in there. That's where I want to stop at every time. So what I'll do now is I'm going to have her pop it. I need to pop it out. Just, just bump it. Okay, stop. All right. So the plate had just a tiny, tiny, tiny gap there, maybe an eighth of an inch if that. So I had to bump it just a little bit and I'm just going to push this in a couple or a couple turns and then we'll do a test on it and, and run it in and out again. So I'll be right back. Okay, Anita, go ahead and take it out all the way. All right. So now that that's adjusted the way I want it there, I'm still not going to mess with the retainer nut yet or the jam nut. I think that one's called a retainer nut, but I'm going to leave this off for just a hair and we're going to loosen up these two screws here and the other two screws on the other side of this bracket. All right. And we're going to make some adjustments. So what this does on this side and let me get actually get Anita back out here and I'll show you guys how this is going to work okay guys so we're going to adjust now when you look at your box so we've adjusted the out stroke and we've adjusted the in stroke and when you look at your box you got your your in and out and then you've got this and that okay so this one is rubbing up here so this is the adjustment for that you've got one here and then you've got one on the other side here so what you're going to look for on the outside of your rig is you're going to see this, this bolt sticking down, okay? Right there. Alright. So, oh, don't you start. Don't you start. I'm filming. I'm recording. <laughs> Neighbor's dog. Alright. Oh, now the other one's here. All right, so down inside here, we got a set, we got half inch bolts. You got two on each side of this plate. Now, Anita, if you'll come in and film this for a second, I want to show you guys something. You want to see how this is straight. This top plate and this bottom plate is straight. Actually, this one's skewed off just a little bit, and that could also be part of the problem. We're going to loosen these four bolts up. We're going to back with three quarters. We're going to back this retaining nut here off so we can make some adjustments. All right, I'm going to back these off. Yeah, I know it's kind of an overkill for this, but I couldn't find my little electric torque wrench. So now I'm going to come in and we're going to do the same thing on this other side here. Okay, so now basically this box now is loose. It was pushed up and rubbing and pinching over here. So I think what we need to do is come down on this side and up on the other side and it's basically trial and error until you figure it out and I'll let you know for sure which method worked here but um, so what I'll do now is I'm going to change that to so that should be three quarter inch yep three quarter We're going to back this off a little bit, and you're going to see the slide just drop down some. All right, so if you watch right here, Anita. All right, so we want to watch this slide. I have a mallet here with me. We will knock this back in place if we have to, but you want to make sure that when we put this back together and, and tighten it, that this lines up together, even if I have to clamp it. But as I go down, if you look, the entire slide is coming down some. All right, so... I'm going to just run that up, 
just to kind of hold that there. I dropped it down about a maybe a quarter inch, maybe a little more. I'm going to scoot under here and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to use a wrench on that one because I'm not going to be able to get the impact on that. So, um, seven sixteenths, so I can loosen the four bolts. So, I'm going to start tightening these back up. So now if you come in here and look, you can see that there's a straight line now. It, and it's shifting on me again as we sit here. So I, what I'll do is, there we go. Let's go ahead and tighten it up. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, you're still recording. Okay, yep. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, and then we're going to run the slide in. I'll bring it back up and uh, show you guys when we run the slide in. So I've lowered the slide on this end, and I'm going to raise it on that end, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back here again. Been playing with this for about 15 minutes now, maybe 20. So, all right, so we got two things going on here. I need to go ahead and bring in the slide. So, I got it so it's not binding up anymore. It's, it is making clearance now, so the box itself isn't hanging up. But what's actually happened here, see the huge gap here? And this doesn't happen. This just wasn't set right at the factory, probably, if I had to guess. Very little there. And let me go up on the ladder here. Look at the top. See the little gap up here and how wide it is there? If I correct that gap, we get in a bind here and we hit. So, Anita, go ahead and put the slide out. So here's the fix for this. I'm not comfortable doing it by myself because of the weight of the slide. And this is a kitchen slide, so there's a refrigerator on here and everything. But at the top of these, right there, there's four bolts. And if you look, you can slide. Those four bolts need to be loosened. And then over here, we have another four bolts that need to be loosened and with a couple guys together or somebody with a forklift for support that's what I'm worried about basically all you need to do is bump this the whole box that way just a tiny bit you know half inch quarter inch to half inch is all that really it needs uh, and basically you're going to center it is what it should have been done I'll talk to the customer about it. Um, also, the other thing is, I adjusted the slide so the bulb seals are hitting. The problem is, is that bulb seal is completely flattened. So I have to suck this in a little more to make sure that he makes contact with the rubber and he's not gonna have any water leaks until he can get this box fixed or those replaced.
but anyway but all right guys well this finishes up the last video for this rig i think i got a couple more i need to upload and post that i did on this for various things but this rv is clean swirls are gone most of the tree branches are gone scratches i should say so all right guys this is leon the nomad detailer signing out